Here's a headline that, uh, that I, I actually agree with this because I, I grew up with cats, two of them, Tippy one and Tippy two. And then I had two cats in, in New York for like 12 years. Mm-hmm. Uh, having a cat we now know, according to the University of uh, Missouri's Research Center for Human-Animal Interaction, it, having a cat is great for your family. Now, they found that caring for a cat, and, and folks, I know all you dog people, you're still going to find this interesting. I know we have a lot of people who, who are, are pet parents of dogs, mm-hmm. but we have cat people too who, course, who have yeah. e- erupted yeah. at me and say, hey, what about the cats? Well, researchers say raising your kids with cats teaches your children to be kinder, more gentle, and patient because a dog will accept being tugged on but if you're too rough with the cat, right, it'll let you know. I love, I love the sentence. They'll run away or lash out. Yes, they Trust will. Trust me, they never run away. Yeah. <laughs> There's only one other Look, thing. Uh, cats require cats require a different kind of patience and attention than dogs. Dogs will ask for attention. Dogs will give it when you want it. Cats make you work for the affection. Cats are they're a lot more independent, but also again a little bit meaner. You know, like you see those cute things of the of the of the toddler and the puppy and how well they get along, uh-huh. and the toddler's pulling on the puppy's ear, and everybody's right, right, happy. Right. Yeah, you can't do that to a cat. Right, you can't right, do it. You can't pull right. that toddler pulls on the cat's ear. That toddler's getting three scratches across the side of his face. <laughs> it's just the, so you're gonna have to you're gonna have to grow up a little bit faster in, the, in a house with a cat. I wish I could have a cat. I am I am allergic, but the idea of a slightly independent pet that would teach my kids a little bit of patience, I would I can get behind. I absolutely think that this is. Yeah. The thing that I love about about cats is that uh, and I had two of them in an apartment in, in, mm-hmm. in New York City is that you just it's almost like do you remember in the um, uh, Pink Panther when he hired uh, a ninja to always surprise him and yeah. just attack him? Yes. Kato, I think is what yes. his name. Yeah, right. To keep him on that's, his that's his what it's like to have a couple of cats in your house because. They're just totally unpredictable. I mean, you can't walk a cat, right? <laughs> and you can't. And the cat will you say, can try, and, and you'll think that your cat is. You'll think that your cat is sleeping, mm-hmm. and then all of a sudden, you. And we've done a story on this before too. You'll have a bite on the on the on the fleshy part between your thumb and your and your forefinger, and then. But cats are like moray eels. Mm-hmm. They, bite, they bite, and, and they, they don't. They don't let go. Yeah. Uh, you're making a great case to not get a cat. <laughs> like, I, 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 this is the, the, you, you have to deal with this stuff. And it's like, oh, basically, having a cat is such a pain. <laughs> no, that it it's builds exciting. Char- that it builds character. It builds character. Right. It's great for kids, and kids yeah. will kids know. Yeah. you know when to back off. I sure. Mean, I mean, hopefully they know before they end up going to the ER. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Hopefully, it's a big hopefully. <laughs> yeah. We're pinning a lot on your kid's ability to adapt. Yeah. yeah Again, yeah. I I see the evidence of why a cat is a good idea. You were, please never get on the television for the ASPCA. <laughs> <laughs> you should get a cat well, because they'll bite you on the hand and no, won't let go in the middle of the night, no, and you'll it, learn to be a better sleeper. It's <laughs> like you know, it's it's like being a Navy SEAL. Well, all of a sudden they wake you up in the middle uh-huh. of the night and they say, "Okay, we're gonna fight now," you know, and you don't have any sleep. And- yeah, there's a lot of people that enjoy not being Navy SEALs. A lot of people that like going to bed at night knowing that they that's don't have to be in a constant mark. state of readiness. That's my bench. Look, mark. I know we watch a lot of those Navy SEAL guys and do their workouts and stuff, but there's a lot of people who you go, yeah, you know yeah. what I like? That, you know what I like? I like working my marketing job. Yeah. I like no. just driving you, to work. But you brought up something really important when you said constant state of readiness. <laughs> yeah, you know, so you, that's beautiful. I, I, I wish I had used that earlier, but constant state of readiness is exactly what you have to be. And, and folks with cats, please let us know oh. yeah, yeah, in the comments below. Constant state of readiness because, and then, oh, listen, we've also, I get really excited about this. Apparently. Yeah, because well, my wife won't let a cat in the house either. Yeah. Uh, but but, you, but the, the thing is, we did this the other day. Cat bites, mm-hmm. make sure you clean that out oh, and yeah. maybe go to the hospital yes. or something because they get infected. They have, they have longer, sharper teeth than a dog, so it breaks the skin. It doesn't seem as bad, but it actually goes a lot deeper, and you can get an infection in the deeper tissue. So you do got to make sure that you clean it out properly. Right, right, right. And don't grab a cat. With a cat's tail, this is, here's a power tip for you. When you see a cat's tail doing this, uh-huh. just you can leave a room okay. or just stand down. Be, and, and again, be in a constant state of readiness. <laughs> Talk to your local animal shelter about adopting a cat today. Not the not the glowing recommendation you think you're giving right now. But, but, but no, there are plenty of people who are like who want to, uh, you know, uh, uh, want to jump out of an airplane. Yep, there are there are plenty of pe- there are plenty of people who who want to take ice baths after they work out. Right. To, yeah, yeah. Right. This is for those people. Yeah, great. Yeah, a, yeah. It's a lot of cats that are going to be left in the shelter there, big yourself. guy. It's not just your dogs. you got to walk over their cattle. You know, listen, if you're, if you're having a bad day or something, or you just want to stay and watch Cattle TV. make it worse. <laughs> <laughs> it's no, no. If you're like in New York, you know, there were some times when I was depressed. Uh-huh, uh-huh. And you just, I mean, they, you just sit there with a the cat for like days. And they go to the bathroom by themselves. You don't have to move. Yeah, yeah. 
<laughs> I, I, I hear you. I hear you. I, it's, again, not the endorsement you think it is. <laughs> hey, okay, cat owners, give us a comment uh, below. Thank you. It's intelligence. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that little bell so you don't miss any of our daily life hacks.